Welcome to number seven on the Bangkok Countdown, where I'm revisiting Mark Ween's famous top 25 things to do in Bangkok list and re-ranking the list so that you can plan your perfect trip to Bangkok the next time you come here. Let's see, Mark, what do you have at number seven? Or tour core market. Mark, there's been too many markets on this list, so we're gonna scratch that one off. We're gonna add a tour through one of Bangkok's coolest neighborhoods. I'm gonna show you things that you definitely need to see when you're here, and one thing that you gotta avoid. Welcome to Ekamai. So flanked by the much glitzier Tonglor that way, and the much more chill Prakanong that way. Ekamai is a major stop on the BTS line, and its main artery is a three kilometer stretch of road. This is Sukhumvit Soy 63, and it's flanked by Sukhumvit Road at this end, and Pechaburi Road way up in the north end. And then across the street, you got Sukhumvit Soy 42. That's a place most tourists never go, but by the end of this video, you're gonna see why you definitely should go there. Ekamai is no stranger to the ever-growing Bangkok skyline. I wonder what this site will look like when you visit here next. So I'd recommend coming here by the BTS. And if you're meeting friends, tell everyone to meet right here at exit number one, because this is gonna put you right at the foot of Soy 63. And that's where our journey begins with what else? Eating and drinking. My favorite lunch spot is called Ham Duan. They serve up the best Northern Thai food in town and I definitely recommend the cow soy. Best part is, it's only 70 baht, which is what, two bucks? So that is how you pay on your way out of here. They give you these two little buttons and that represents what you're ordered. Also on the cheap side is Watana Panic. This place is world famous for having what might be the oldest pot of soup on the planet. Uh, you can get it with a variety of meats. We got this sliced beef. Oh, that brisket is super tender. Legend has it, this pot of soup has been simmering for over 50 years straight. That's right, half a century of flavor in there. If you're looking for some international flavor, there's a nice Korean eatery called Bangkok Banjom, where you might just bump into me. I'll always scout out the best Korean dishes for you guys wherever I go. And this place right here, Bangkok Banjom, serves up some of the best Korean Chinese food in the city. I'd recommend getting the Tang Suyuk or the Jajangmyeon. If it's bars and clubs that you're looking for, that's probably what Ekamai is most known for. The most famous local watering holes right here, it's called the Ekamai Beer House. Great patio, some pub food, delicious beers, Guinness on tap, and it's just right across the parking lot from that Northern Thai place, Ham Duan. But this isn't the only place to drink here in Ekamai. For a taste of the 90s, there's the Cassette Music Bar, a funky place to get your retro groove on. If you're looking for banging beats, then there's Babyface, Ekamai's biggest super club where things might get a little crazy. My favorite place is called Tuba, a cool space with an amazing vibe where it's mostly young local ties out to party. Guaranteed you'll have a great night if you make it to Tuba.
If you're looking for a caffeine infused beverage, this place here, Featherstone, is a place where the owners created their own museum with interesting decorations, mixing it with premium coffee. They even have home cooked food on the menu. Prefer Thai tea instead? Right in the BTS station is Chatra Mu, which is Thailand's best chain. But I prefer the BKK Espresso Bar, a small independent shop that sells amazing stuff. Next up, temples. Ekamai is not really known for temples, but there are two here, and you can definitely add them to your half-day itinerary that you'll have built out by the end of this video. The first one is just right steps away from the Ekamai BTS station. You enter right off Sukhumvit, and this one's called Wat Tak Tong. Make sure you go inside, though. One of the cool things about temples here, so at Decap in Thailand, is that you can pretty much roam freely around them and get a sense as to the monks' daily life. You're gonna wanna come all the way to the back corner of this. Challenge for you, see if you can find this place. You end up in this little Buddha garden with tons of cool Buddha sculptures. And the really cool part is right behind you is a towering purple skyscraper of Ekamai. And this is the perfect contrast that Thailand offers between the urban and the more traditional. I just love it in here. Now I'm getting hungry, and I'm gonna show you a place in this neighborhood that not many people know about. It's a little tough to find. Most of the video, we've been up on Soy 63 over there, so what you're gonna to wanna to do is walk across the BTS station, that's Ekamai there, down here and on to Soy 42, and there's a place just up there around the corner that's gonna tickle your taste buds and it'll make your wallet happy. You're gonna wanna make a right here at this 7-Eleven and this street, but you're gonna instantly notice a much more local Thai feeling than the rest of Ekamai. And you're gonna turn right and head right down that little alley, and I'll show you where heaven resides. Dao porn for you. So this dish is called Pad Prick Pow. Not to be mistaken with Pad Pow. This is a sweet chili paste. It's got a little spice to it, but it's got a sweeter ting than a Pad Pow. And this place does it up so good. And it's only 50 baht for this giant, well, it's not giant, but it's a meal's worth of food. And the best part is, look where we are. Thai office workers, local Thais, enjoying their lunch for uh, a reasonable price. You got the Pepsi tablecloths and everything. So yeah, I did a video about this place where I asked the question, does Thai food make you sick? Oh, that, I bet that place gives you diarrhea. And the answer is hell no, it makes you happy. And if you want to taste this guy's cooking, I'll make it easy for you. Here, here's a QR code. That's my app, Teeny. It's got this place and hundreds of more delicious local Thai spots all over Thailand. And that meal in this video is dedicated to today's winner of the top viewers prize, Singapore. Singapore, little island nation has watched the seventh most videos since I started this channel. So shout out to everyone in Singapore. You guys are only like an hour and a half flight to get over to Thailand. So I expect to see each and every one of you book that flight soon. One thing I promise to tell you is something that I wouldn't do 
here in Ekamai, and that's go shopping. Well, at the shopping malls at least. This is called Gateway, and it's a really odd collection of stores, and it's a pretty odd layout as well. I mean, if you're looking for home furnishings, they got a home pro and stuff like that. The food court's okay, and they do have one of the best Muay Thai gyms in all of Bangkok. It's called Fit Fact. Shout out to my buddy Kun Ek. But other than that, this place ain't so hot. One little tidbit for you is that right across the street is Mark Ween's restaurant, Ped Mark. And as I've told you all along, Mark's going to join me when we get down to number one on the countdown. Actually, while I'm here, I think I'll just uh, cross over there and confirm things with him right now. Oh, Mark. 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 Mark, you in there? Mark, come on. We don't have much time left to set this up, man. Mark, it, it'll all work out, trust me. Fear not, folks, I assure you, Mark Weens will be with me when we get to number one. In the meantime, drop a comment below. Tell me what your favorite BTS station is in all of Bangkok. And if you wanna go straight to number six on the list, click, click, click up over here. And if you're new here, then go back to number 25, watch the whole series, and make your perfect Bangkok itinerary.